breeding in Valheim has become oversaturated and overcomplicated. You should not need to have a degree in engineering to craft a breeding system for your animals. So with that being said, today I'm going to show you a nice and simple way that you can breed all the animals in Valheim into one spot. Now to do this, you're going to need a moat and then you're going to need to make sure that it is at least 10 meters deep. Now starting with our little five boards to make sure we have our depth right i am now going to raise up a little earth platform to make sure that the ground is higher than the 10 meter post that we have right there now the reason it needs to be 10 meters is so that we can break the breeding limit and have more creatures in one area than is allowed so by having them 10 meters above where the above the breeding pen they can breed limitlessly now we're just going to create a few stalls right here on this platform now these little four stalls right here are going to be used for the boars and the wolves so they only have to be like a meter and some change wide that's as you can see i'm free placing them and that'll work perfect now we'll just tear this wall back a little bit there we go that way that the boards are just touching the edge and we're going to want to make sure that their legs are hanging off the back end of this now i'm going to go ahead and raise this ledge up a little more because to get our loxes up there we're going to need a lot of extra room because their stalls are going to have to be four meters wide a piece per lox okay so now that we have our first pin set up let's just go ahead and shove the boards in here like usual they don't go anywhere they have seemed to have gotten easier to move around now as you get closer they're going to try to escape we're going to push them all the way in until they get kind of cattywampus like that and then we can shove a board in and block them and then just rinse and repeat with another boar there we go now we have the next boar in there and both can easily be fed through the wall like so next we'll do the same thing with the wolves which are a little easier since you can get them to follow you so you can have them easily turn around we'll get them to follow us shove them over to the side a little bit and then shove them down into the slot and you can see them boards are going to get in the way so we'll just knock whatever's in the way out of the way and shove them in there come on the wolves are pretty good about not running away but if you just put a board down there we go it'll keep them in place for sure and now we have everybody in stalls we have our little separators up still just kind of use them as colanders now everybody's in stalls we can move on to creating the locks pins so now i'm just going to come right up the side off the back to make sure that everything's nice and even and this is four meters wide and that's about as wide as we're going to want one of these locks pins so i'm going to go ahead and extend this platform one more time to make it wide enough to have both of our locks pins and we're going to raise up the sides with a full wooden board on the side because these bad boys are going to be a little bit tall now getting them in the pin is a little easier than the rest of them because we can just throw a saddle on them and ride them up on in there And you can and then you can easily just kind of turn them around since you can't go in reverse you have to go forward and just tap the trigger a little bit if you want to turn them around or you can always hop them up in there and close them in and then hit follow and they'll kind of face you Boom. and for the locks since they're so big i always build a big pin and then kind of close them in like close the space in around them that'll force them facing forward that way that they're not in there turning around because if you build it too big you'll they'll have enough room to spin in they'll have enough room to spin in circles it'll just be a pain in the ass so it's easier to pin them in and then close it in tight as you can around them making sure that they're kind of sticking on the ledge cattywampus the same way that the wolves and the boars were and that's exactly how we want them now they are exposed right here to raids so you you're, you are going to want to extend your moat around this or raise it up because they will get attacked and it's not that hard to set up so if they do get out of place or attacked it's pretty easy to get some more in here boom there we have it that's what i'm talking about and all these guys can be fed through the wall look we even have a little extra space left over right here you could slot another board in there if you wanted to only thing i am not going to include on the onto this breeder right here will be chickens because i just showed you how to create the automated chicken farm right now and if you wanted to add chickens to this it would just be as simple as adding another pin to the side and put caging it in now as long as you don't cover up the ground they will breed now if you put boards underneath them and their feet are touching the boards and not the ground they won't breed but as long as they're grounded they're going to shoot out babies onto the other end down into your trench which is super convenient you don't have to have a bunch of breeders all over the place and you have to portal around to collect them you can just have them easily breed right into your moat right next to your base hop down there and slaughter them or you could even set up fires down there to help automate your slaughtering process 
But hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. If you need a help, if you need a hand on anything Valheim, don't forget to join the Discord in the description below. And of course, if you need a server, don't forget to join the channel right below the video at any tier, and then join the Discord for the details. Appreciate you guys stopping by, and I'll catch you folks in the next one.